taking you through how to achieve an A-line skirt, okay? So, in the previous class, I taught you how to achieve a basic skirt, you know, to draw the pattern of a basic skirt. So, this is a pattern that we had already done in the last class, in the previous class. This is a basic skirt. So if you now want your skirt to be a fitted one, you go in here by one and a half. That's that line that connects to the hip here. But now, for every design you want to make of a skirt, it has to be based on your basic skirt. That's the principle, okay? So my A-line skirt, I'll be getting it from my basic skirt. So I do not have to cut it, you know, in the fitted way. I leave it as my basic skirt. That's why I'm having the two lines, okay? So this outer line is my basic skirt here, the straight one, okay? So for me to achieve my basic skirt, the first thing that I have to do is to draw connecting lines to, you know, the apex tip of my dart of my skirt. So I'm going to use a script ruler. Then, you could use a square ruler so you, you can have a straight line. So you place your square ruler in this manner to connect this place. You see that it's balanced on the hip line here. So I want to connect it, use my connecting lines all the way down, okay? You draw your line all the way to the end of the skirt, to whatever length that you have. So, I've succeeded drawing my connecting line from that tip downwards, okay? It's coming from here actually, okay? But because I already had that black line, that's why I didn't put the red there, but it's coming from the apex of your that leg all the way straight down. So now, we will have to close this dart. We slash here and stop at this point and then we slash down here upwards and stop at this point so that there can be movement then we are able to close the dart and then we have to we will be transferring the dart here into the skirt to create an e-line so what we are going to do now first i will slash you can slash any of the red legs here here or here we just want to close our dart so i'll slash the one that is closest to this side Whichever you choose is fine. So I'm going to slash it all the way to the, that um, sharp tip at that point. And I stop there. Can you see? I slashed it. You know, I slashed it. I slashed this line all the way to this point. Okay, and I stop there. Now I go beneath here and I slash from that, from the hem of my skirt up onto this point also but be careful not to let it separate totally so i'm going to slash it from down here right and i'm going upwards this way so you follow your connecting line all the way up to that point where your dart leg ends the sharp point there so i'm stopping at that point so now I'll slash from here here and I slash from here here. So I'm going to close this dart. So this is how it's going to close. I will move because I've slashed here. It will be easy for me to move. So I'm going to move it this way until this line touches the other line. Can you see? I have been able to close that. Okay, so I have closed this dart and it's opened here. So whatever I have here. I'm going to measure it. So measuring it now, I have two inches. So two inches is this opening, this opening here. The space is two inches. You have to take half of whatever you have here and you place it here as an extension, okay? So I have two here. I'm going to place one inch here, okay? Assuming it was three here, I'm going to place one and a half. So this is two, I'll place one. So I'm going to extend here by one more inch, okay? So my one inch stops here. So what I'm going to do next is, under my one inch, I'll connect a line, okay? From my hip, I'll connect that line with my straight ruler all the way down. 
for my hip line. Okay. So connect it from here to that my line that I extended as my okay. So once you have that, you now go ahead and measure whatever I have from here to here. So from here to here, I'm going to measure from my hip line all to my hemline. I have 14, so I place it on this line here and make sure it stops on 42 so that the edge will be safe. Then I connect it together, okay? And then like this. So that is how to achieve an A-line script. It's so easy, just like A, B, C. So this is now a complete A-line script. Can we see? 